Hello friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and More. And I hope you guys are having a fabulous morning. Happy Memorial Day. Happy birthday to my daughter. And happy Mask Monday. So glad to be back with you guys doing Mask Mondays. And so glad I'm, I'm actually finding time or making time. It's about making time, right guys? making time to do these videos because I so do enjoy the masks. And every once in a while, my daughter and I, you know, on a Friday night or whenever, we'll, um, we'll do a mask, you know, in one evening or whatever, whenever we have time. But um, as far as filming them, taping them, I have not had um, a whole lot of time. But like I said, it's about making time. And so I have made time because I love doing these. So, um, before when I was doing Mask Mondays, a lot of my Mask Mondays were, um, the peel masks, which I really, really like. Um, but I had this paper mask in here and I haven't done a paper mask in a while, so I thought I would do it. This is Perlis, and it is Blue Lotus and Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask. Intensely moisturizing, soothing, and balancing for all skin types. So that's great. And on the back, the creator says, Inspired by my grandmother's Asian beauty wisdom with modern philosophy. And of course, it just tells you to start with a cleansed face, remove the mask from the package and fold, gently place on your face, blah, blah, blah. And relax and then remove your mask after 15 to 20 minutes. And then all I have to do is gently massage it into the skin to absorb the excess um, essence. And it says don't rinse. And it recommends using one to two times a week. So see, we're underusing our mask. If we're only doing one mask Monday, we're underusing. So we have to find time throughout the week, um, like I said, on a Friday or Saturday or even a Sunday to kind of just relax and, and do a mask. So it's important, right? Our skin is... Very, very important. I know I am all leopard out, right? So I got this um, leopard headband for my sweet friend Ellen. My husband had bought me these really nice um, leopard pajamas, and I just love them. It's the top and then the little shorts. I had showed you guys on the Amazon haul. If you haven't seen that haul, go back and check that out. Um, I thought I'd do something a little different today while I'm doing my Mask Monday. I thought I would give you guys a little tour of my jewelry box. Um, it's going to be a two-part tour, and maybe I'll do the second tour next week for Mask Monday, or maybe even a three-part tour over the next, you know, this week and then the next two weeks, um, because I have the top portion of my jewelry armoire, and then I have all my drawers, and then I have my two sides that come out that are, um, necklaces and ankle bracelets. So, it is a lot to show on a video, and, um, you know, if you're like me, you don't like to watch really, really super long videos, um, unless it catches your interest, and that may be something that catches your all's interest, um, but I, I thought it would just be nicer just to kind of break it out, so I am going to, I'm about three, almost four minutes in, I'm going to go ahead, stop this video, take you over into, um, my bedroom, and, um, show you guys the top portion of my jewelry box and just explain some of the things that are in there. So hold on just one second. Okay, so this does have a mirror on it, but um, <laughs> I wanted you guys to focus on the jewelry and not the mirror, because you know how it is when somebody's doing a video and you just keep looking at the mirror. But anyways, I hope the lighting's okay in here. Um, let's start, start up here at the top. So I have some costume um, rings up here. Um, this one, um, I want to say it was from Premier Jewelry, and this one as well, and that one as well, and this one as well, this pink ice one. Okay, this 98 bear, that is um, the year my son was born, and that's a little bear, I believe from Avon, that my mom got me years ago, and I just cherish it, because it has my son's birth year on it, and I would love to have one for 2006, but I don't have one, so maybe I'll find one someday. Um, now, these were my grandmother's rings, this one here, and this one here. Um, so of course I cherish those and I do have a old jewelry box of hers as well. Um, 
And then um, this is a, um, my birthstone is sapphire, September. So my mom had given me this sapphire and diamond one. And then she also gave me the diamond one. And then she also gave me her mother's ring. And I actually bought that for her um, years ago. Um, it is my birthstone, sapphire, her birthstone, April diamond. And then my brother's and my dad's um, birthstone um, for November. And they actually show the exact same birthday, so that's really cool. And then all these rings here are all rings that my parents gave me when I was younger. Um, the one is a, that's an opal. I believe that's October. Oh, and my dad and my brothers, by the way, I believe is um, Topaz. So um, that's opal, and then that's called a, a rose rose gold, um, rose heel gold, I think that's what they used to call it, ring. And my mom and dad got me that when I was younger. And then this little teeny one here, um, this tiny sapphire, it's really little, like you can't, I'll pull it back so you can understand just how little it is. It only fits in my pinky now, but um, and that's been mine since I was about three. And then that pink ice my mom had gotten me. Is the hair there? I'll get that off of there. Sorry guys, hold on. Um, and then that Kim uh, Kimberly bracelet my mom and dad got me when I was a little girl. It says Kim on it. Um, those, these two little... Um, rubber rings there with the, of course the two different my husband had got me those and those are just like rings that I'll wear as opposed to wearing my wedding band I'll wear those like to garden in and things like that go to the grocery store things that I might be doing like cleaning the house that I don't want to ruin them and then that sapphire ring there of course my birthstone and then these two rings here were my um my mom's original rings sorry about my nails guys um my mom's original rings that my dad had gotten her and then there's a third one but my daughter wears it and then, um, and then the, um, the ruby birthstone, uh, is my, um, husband and son's birthstone. And, um, my husband and my son had got me that one. And then I have that one there. And then that is my diamond set that I wear, typically, if I'm not wearing my cheetah one. And then that is just a, a ring that my husband had gotten for me. It has a matching um, earrings. Hold on a second, I'll find them for you. And it also has a matching necklace, and I'll show you those necklaces eventually, too, when I get to that part. Um, but yeah, these are the earrings that go with them, and I love them. He got me one year for my birthday. The, the whole set. And then these little things, these are just little like clip on earrings that you can put like up at the top of your ears when you don't have your ears pierced. I used to and I let them go closed. And the same thing with that one. Okay, so this ring here, let me show you. This ring here was my original wedding band. It had to be cut off because um, when I was pregnant for my daughter, I got preeclampsia and my fingers and my body was just very, very swollen. So the doctor said, get that ring off. <laughs> And then um, this ring here was my dad's wedding band, and he gave it to me one time when he was here in North Carolina. He took it off and said he wanted me to have it. This is um, the band that I got after I had mine cut off, because I used to have a gold set, but now I'm in the white gold. My husband got me the diamond. Um, because, unfortunately, the original set that he got me was my birthstone. It was a heart, and it was sapphire around the edges and a diamond in the middle and the heart and the band itself was um the band that wrapped up around it was uh, soldered together and unfortunately I lost it um I, I think what happened was I was washing my hands I set it down and someone had taken it but anyways it's gone unfortunately so that's how it ended up with the new set there and then this was my husband's original band, which he never wears because he, um, neither of us wear our gold bands anymore because he has like a, um, another set that I had gotten him. And I also got him these rubber ones like that and, and like the darker color for him to wear too when he's doing yard work and things like that. Um, but he also has his wedding band tattooed on, so he doesn't really need a band. Um, and then this rose gold and then this, um, silver and then this pink, they, these bands all go to my, um, my Apple watch and I'm currently, hold on a second, I'll show you guys. Currently I have, of course, the cheetah one on, um, but then sometimes, you know, if I'm wearing lighter colors, I'll wear this pink one and then what if I'm dressier, I'll wear, you know, if I'm dressed up, I'll wear either the rose gold or the silver. Okay, so up here, and I've got some little backs in here. Let me take these little backs out. Hold on a second. Okay, still got one. So anyways, um, 
these are um, just earrings that I had ordered. They're like the leather cutout ones. And then of course, this is my cheetah, my little cheetah collection. Believe it or not, um, considering how much I love cheetah print, I actually don't have a lot of cheetah earrings. And um, these were, um, those were made at a, um, off of a, um, someone I used to work with, his wife makes those. And then these cheetah print ones, um, these were um, ones that I had picked up and ones that Ellen had gifted me with. And they're all from the Dollar Tree. So I, honestly, I don't have a lot of cheetah earrings, which is kind of surprising. And then over here in the like little, I know it's dusty guys, sorry. Over here in the little, um, um, this area is kind of like my pearls, just like little pearl earrings and things like that. Things I've had for a long time, like my mom gave me or, um, Queen gave me those from Queen's Life. Um, and then some of the other ones my mom had just given me and I've kept over the years. Here's my, um, little elephant collection. Um, Ellen had given me the larger ones and the two smaller ones I had bought. And then this was my gift for my husband um, for our anniversary. These earrings here. And they're really beautiful. And I, oops, I wear those every day as well. And then uh, a friend of mine had gifted me those. And our other friend actually makes those. Um, these home, This homemade jewelry. Well, she used to. Jennifer. I don't know if she still does or not. And then... Um, my sapphire earrings because my birthstone so those are all like actual real stones they're not you know costume jewelry i do have a lot of costume jewelry in here but those are not costumes but these are of course those are costume jewelry and then my west virginia earrings that my husband got me and then over here are some just earrings that i've gotten from either like a friend like my friend gail gave to me those those I think was like Avon, my mother-in-law gifted me those. Those are the ones my husband got me. I used to collect dolphins, so those are my dolphin earrings. So yeah, um, the these little ones here, um, my, they were my grandmother, um, my dad's mom, and so I got those when she passed. Um, and then here, um, Lois had gifted me those, and Lois had also gifted me those. And then another friend of mine had gifted me those. Um, and then my mom had given me these a long time ago with a necklace that matches it and they are, they're, um, they're Avon. So, yeah. And then, um, over here is just some like little pink ones. Oh, there's some more elephant earrings. They need to go over here. I recently purchased those, um, in, um, Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, a girl has an art um, downtown Wilmington she has a, um, a really cute artsy shop and her and her mother make all the earrings and I recently purchased those and um, sure this thing is so dusty I really need to clean it out it's terrible um, but some more just little pearl earrings um, I was in my friend's wedding and um, she gifted me those with the K on them and then those rose gold ones were the ones that we wore in the wedding so yeah guys this is the top of the jewelry box and let me kind of focus it there we go this is the top um but like i said there are other parts i'll open it up and show you guys and then stay tuned for next week's mess monday and i will do the part two um there are one two three four five six seven eight drawers okay so that's what i'm saying i don't want to do a whole video i'm going to break them up and over here, a little quick sneak peek of um, the the necklaces. But I also like want to go through these drawers and clean them out too. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. And you won't miss any of my uploads. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Memorial Day. I know we're going to enjoy it when my daughter wakes up because it's her birthday. And we're going to celebrate and yeah, just look forward to wonderful family time. So um, hope you guys have a blessed day. Stay safe, be kind, and until next time, bye y'all.